1005 design. Today we will be installing a backsplash that the owner has chosen as the stainless steel diamond backsplash. We're we'll putting it on this area back here to coordinate with the darker cabinets and the blue paint. We also will be installing a trim kit that comes along with the 1005 backsplash kits and we're going to show you how to install that now. kit it contains four panels which is 15 square feet and this area that we will be doing the install is four panels wide so we will start within this area first for the symmetry of the pattern and working our way over to this end and finishing out on this side one of the first things we need to do is there's protective film overlaid on each panel for uh, scratching protection and there is also a label provided and this label has a line on here that we need to mark across our entire panel so that we can keep it parallel with our countertop. The purpose of this line is to show when you make a cut for instance this way with metal you have a different look that could possibly happen with the flip this way you know which way you've cut this panel so that we can keep it aligned. With our install, we're actually going to start with the pattern being a full pattern on the bottom two diamonds and cut up at the top for our, for our first panel install. First things that we're going to do um, with this install is we need to measure from the bottom up since we'll be removing the top part of the design. So we need 15 and 3 quarters inch and what I'm going to do is add a dot on each side so that when I put my my ruler down, I can ensure that I have a straight cut. And in order to level it up, I like to add the ends here, here. and then I draw my line. This is where we'll be cutting. For moisture protection, it's best to use a waterproof silicone to inject inside the trim before applying it to the panel. Definitely want to make sure that you have your edges lined up properly. And then it slid all the way in place. Now we're going to apply the uh, Loctite construction adhesive to the back of the panel. And uh, we have found that it is best to apply it as you would just kind of snake it all over the back of the, the panel. And then we are going to need to spread it as well so that there's not air bubbles. And put some on the joint. Even though there's silicone back there, that way it, it's going to securely fasten to the wall. I like to use a little flat spatula then we spread it like this, kind of evenly spread it around all over the panel. It's going to keep it from getting bubbles behind it, and um, it's also going to secure the panels to the wall. You 
just want to make sure that you can prep and hold in place for a few seconds. Step back. And voila, we have our first panel. And now we're going to move on to the second panel. And what we need to do is we're going to need to cut out this light socket because our panel is quite a bit longer. And we're going to, and I'm going to show you how to do that here shortly. But before I get started on removing the outlet, I wanted to remind you not to forget to do your symmetry line. And I went ahead and measured the length of the panel, the, the height of the panel, and I added my little dots all the way across so that I can make an even line. And I'll be cutting that here soon as well. Make sure that it's cut correctly and that everything fits. And we're good. Okay, and we're ready to apply. Gotta get the panel turned around here. Use my handles as soon as I get a grip on them. And slide this into the other trim piece. Make sure it's in there by that correctly. pressure. I like to verify my measurements for this since it's 14 and a half uh, wide here and then we're going 14 and a quarter down for the square to finish it off and of course I've drawn my symmetrical line here so that I know that I'm cutting out this square because I need to have this entire piece Now that we got our panel cut, we're going to put the edge trim on there and pop it in and make sure that it fits. I'm going to test it before you add the adhesive. And you just need to slide it into the other piece of trim. We got a good snug fit. We got to peel back the protective coating all the way around it. I'm going to add it to this side of backsplash. Slide that in there. Level it out a little bit. Make sure that it's all push on it. Set that down and then we need to add silicone to this piece of Trim that's already up. We're going to check the panel and what we did to finish this part out is we're going to put it on this side of the power outlet so it actually matches up even with the cab cabinets and we're going to leave this flush. And as soon as we get this spread out we'll put it up and we'll be finished with the installation and we'll let it dry for 24 hours, come back 
remove the film and clean up any silicone and we'll have a new kitchen. It's been 24 hours since we have installed our backsplash panels and now it is time to remove the protective film. Now that we've removed the protective film, it's time to clean up any type of silicone that we may have found on the panels that has been left behind. We use the GE clear silicone for kitchen and bath. It's actually waterproof and one of the great things that we like about this silicone adhesive is that it washes off with just water. Backsplash adds a lot of life and modernization to the kitchen. Thanks, 1005 Design.